Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Some of you out there wanted to know about uh, SOC 2 mapping with ISO 27001 controls and clauses. So this is a mapping video for you. I think uh, somebody commented today as well that uh, you need to understand how this mapping works. So this is a mapping between uh, test services criteria and uh, ISO 27001 controls. So as you can see in the security uh, trust services criteria for SOC 2, uh, you have A.5, A.6, A.9, A.10, A.12, A.13, and A.16. All these come under the security criteria of SOC 2. Then under availability, you have A.6, A.8, A.11, A.14, A.17. This comes under the SOC 2 availability criteria. You can take screenshots of this if you want, and you can also tailor this mapping as per your requirement, but this is just a good head start for all of you out there who are trying to understand the different mappings between the two standards, okay? So here you have process integrity. Here you have, uh, you know, 8.6, 8.10, 8.12, 8.16. .8 then you have confidentiality, where you have 8.5, 8.6, 8.10, 8.15, and 8.18. So these are different controls of ISO 27001 and here is a SOC 2 criteria mapping for you. I hope uh, this finds, uh, this is uh, very useful for all of you out there who are watching this video. Uh, and from here, you can get a clear understanding of uh, what all SOC 2 trust services uh, criteria fall under which of the controls of ISO 27001. In case you have any questions, any, you know, follow up uh, comments on this video, feel free to add in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.